Uh, in this video that you actually see on the screen, I want you to observe what exactly is going on. Okay, so we have a balcony here, um, we have columns that are standing and they are already cracked of course as you can see and also I want you to observe that we have uh, fence fence rails okay now these fence rails are actually made of, st of steel but if you are to look very carefully and observe you see that the top hand rail is actually made of aluminium now at the time of construction um, this aluminium was actually anchored into the column and furthermore it was hooked into the steel bars okay of course probably the the it was done so that someone can get more strength okay but then 12 years down the road after this building had been built you can see that the concrete is already cracked uh, the columns are already losing their strength uh, the steel bars already uh, have gone have undergone uh, excessive corrosion and also the concrete is expanding and there's a lot of spalling and flaking I want us in this video to understand what exactly is going on what actually caused this to come to this point and also I want us to know how we could actually have avoided this okay so what's going on guys welcome back to this channel that's all about architecture engineering and construction and uh, we're also all about bettering the African narrative my name is Darwin and I hope you enjoy in this video however like you saw in this video uh, just to go into it uh, we cannot easily understand this uh, bef unless we go into the chemistry that we studied in olive oil in primary you know however uh, don't worry about that i will not make it complicated i'll make it as simple and possible as simple as possible and very plain so that even the common man will easily understand it okay so you don't have to have done chemistry to understand this you don't have to be an engineer to understand this you don't have to be uh, an extra extra professional to understand this okay so you're going to make it as plain as possible now uh heading to the point exactly what exactly is going on remember in the olive oil chemistry we had we had periodic tables we had electric electrochemical series okay you don't have to know all that okay but you know that some elements in the in the periodic table were higher than others in the electrochemical series you have some elements or metals that were actually higher than others and all that their position in the electrochemical series and their position is that in the periodic tables actually determined how these metals react okay now that exactly is what is happening in this scenario first forward to bring to you another example you can easily understand take an example of batteries okay like let's say like let's say an example of car batteries okay in car batteries you have the positive we have the negative we have the anode and then you also have the cathode now all those two are actually in a liquid which is usually acid and that liquid is actually acting as an electrolyte okay so that kind of setup causes anodes to move from the causes um, electrons to move from the anode and go to the cathode okay and that is actually used to generate electricity now that is exactly what happened in this scenario it should have been okay for an aluminium piece to be hooked with a steel bar okay but in this scenario it is on a it is on an external column and this column is actually exposed to rain okay so it's exposed to humid conditions in a scenario like that you find that when it rains over a period of time and the column is getting wet and it has absorbed water probably uh, there is water now in the column that is actually acting as an electrolyte and then we have aluminium and then we have steel now those two metals actually have differences in their positions in the electrochemical series now that sparks of something that creates an energy in that whole system that energy causes electrons to move from the anode and go to the cathode in a scenario like that we find that um the aluminium piece is being eaten away as you can see in the video and also we have the steel bars actually expanding and corroding and causing the concrete actually in which they were cast to even expand and also break off okay this exactly is what happened now i want us to understand that this should have been okay and this really, really takes quite a long period of time but because this column is an external column and it has all that water that is actually that is what actually is causing this process to be accelerated okay so it would have been okay if this piece of aluminium was actually anchored into the column but not directly connected to the steel bar that is very sensitive so because steel is not actually a metal but it's an alloy that contains about 97 percent iron steel is an alloy that actually contains um 97 percent iron that is why most times the steel iron bars the steel bars we call them iron bars okay the rest of the three percent is really just uh impurities and also 
uh, specks of carbon okay so when i talk about the steel bars that is iron so when you compare the position of iron and the position of aluminium in the electrochemical series you realize that actually aluminium is higher in the electrochemical series than iron okay now that is actually where the chemistry starts so if you're an engineer out there if you are a client out there and probably someone who's doing uh, work for you is not really so much conversant with this at least this is to help you understand that whenever you're going to mix aluminium with steel you can do all that but it better not be in an environment where there's going to be water where the, the whole setup is going to be exposed to water okay so please take note of that i hope you guys had something to learn from this video hit the like button and also share with friends that you think might need this kind of information otherwise i'm done and i thank you very much for watching and uh, have yourself a good happy new year